In this video, I'm going to tell you every supply you need to get started with gouache as a professional and about how much you can reasonably expect to pay. All right, let's get started. Hey guys, Sergio Lopez back with another video. And uh, this one's kind of a special request, but um, I think it's going to be a really good resource for you to get started with as far as getting out the door and painting with gouache. So what do you need? First, you need paint. <laughs> and what kind of paint should you go for? Well, I always use professional art supplies. Um, I go with the brands that are best known as professional quality. I stay away from like the, the Hemi gouache, the jelly gouache, and some of the ones that are more geared toward students and things like that. I guess if you need to, you don't have quite the budget yet to get started. I still recommend that you start with just a few paints. Let's start with the white paint. Uh, the white gouache you use is pretty much gonna be the foundation for every color around it so you want it to be as high quality as possible i would say and start with a large enough tube for it to be worth it because a small tube like the normal um, 15 milliliters you're going to go through that so fast it's not even going to be worth it so pick up at least a 37 milliliter tube this is m grams titanium white really solid it's one of my favorites i recently upgraded to horidum schminky white gouache which is probably my favorite right now um i did a whole test on white gouaches so maybe you can figure out which one will suit your own purposes better but um this is a 59 mil or 60 milliliter tube and it's 25 bucks so if you don't want to splurge for that um you could find this for around 13 bucks online so i'll set that there so next, you're going to want a nice good primary yellow. This is Schminke's Cadmium Yellow. Pretty expensive, but you can go with Amgram Gouache. And it's going to cost you around 15 bucks um, for a nice tube of Cadmium. But you can maybe find an equivalent. It's not going to be as good as Cadmium if you go for a cheaper one. But it will still get you up and running. Next important one is a cadmium red this is actually a cadmium scarlet i got from windsor newton but a cadmium red in m gram it's going to cost you around 15 dollars and again you could find a hue equivalent but it's not going to be as good so i recommend going with the best right away next we have our earth colors yellow ochre really useful color especially for getting sort of golden yellows um, you'll find after using cadmium and yellow the mixes are a bit more cool so this is a way to get warm lights with yellow that are really important when you're doing um, sunlight and things like that so don't sleep on that color next we got ultramarine blue that's a kind of a workhorse blue it can take care of a lot of different needs with blue you could expand your blues out more if you need to but this is a nice earthy blue that can do a lot for you. I found this for $7.25 on Trakel's website. We've also got our browns, burnt sienna and burnt umber. It's sort of a darker, slightly more cool tone that the burnt umber is. And that mixes well with ultramarine to get um, nice darks. And then we got our burnt sienna, which is a really good, like sort of dark reddish brown. And that becomes useful for a lot of different things. It's a great shortcut color. It's one I use a lot, actually. <laughs> I like to use Payne's Gray as my all-purpose dark. Yeah, it's just kind of a, a neutral, slightly cool toned gray. And you'll find yourself using that one a decent amount. It's a little bit difficult to get darks any other way. With gouache, you'll find that to be a bit of a drawback from the medium. But with a pre-mixed really dark gray, like a Payne's gray, you'll be able to take care of all those sort of really deep darks that you need for the most part. Now we have some really valuable secondary colors such as Viridian, which is our tube green. Set that down. And uh, I like to use Alizarin, which is uh, say a really cool red or a really warm purple, somewhere in that 
um, range. Um, I don't happen to have that tube on me at the moment. So I'm using this Peony by um, Holbein. But yeah, uh, you can say that's Alizarin. Iridian cost $9.75 at Trikel and uh, Alizarin Crimson $7.25. Couple other colors that are highly recommended for plain air. Um, we got Cadmium Orange. These are not absolutely necessary, but they're nice to have. So I'll just lay them out. We got Cadmium Yellow Deep. This is Gamboge, which is an equivalent. A Violet. This is Windsor Newton Spectrum Violet. Aqua Blue by Holbein. Turquoise Green. Leaf Green. Azo Green Watercolor. And Brilliant Pink. Now, I'll set these aside because they're not necessary for us, but they're really great to have. All told, our total for essential colors here will come out to around $97.98, thereabout. So that's how much you can expect to pay in the beginning. Next, we got our brushes. The nice thing about gouache, you don't need a ton of brushes to start with. You can do a lot with just a few brushes here. So start with the about one inch flat synthetic brush, such as like Crimson Taclon is one of my favorites from Trakel. I believe this is also a Trakel, the new synthetic Kolinsky. So that's a nice one. A flat synthetic brush, such as this Trakel Crimson Taclon, will cost you about $12.87. A round brush for detail, costs you around $12.19 smaller flat about a quarter inch will cost you about seven dollars and 87 cents a quarter inch filbert this is a number eight will cost you around seven dollars and 87 cents as well and then you know assorted sizes to your liking i have this is one of my kits i take out for my backpack and then this is my small kit I use for my fanny pack setup and uh, could spend, I don't know, about 30 bucks more on assorted brushes and uh, that should get you up and running as far as that goes. So all told for brushes, you're going to spend the total amount for essentials will be somewhere around $74.10 if you go with my estimate. There are optionals such as a fan brush, quill mop for wet on wet and washes and a cat's tongue for certain marks. Next up is paper. What should you paint on? I would say for most people starting out, the best sketchbook you can get for the money is a Strathmore Visual Journal. One of these guys costs you about $7.84 online and it's great quality paper. Don't be put off by the construction of the sketchbook. It's actually really nice paper and I've sold a lot of paintings out of the sketchbook so it's high quality enough for me to rely on for that if you like tone paper this is a tone paper sketchbook by Hanamule and I spent about $16 to get that one if you want to splurge and go for the best stuff this is the arches watercolor paper this will cost you somewhere around $43 for 10 sheets so not cheap but if you want to do pro quality work on it that's the best way to go i would say but if you want something that's a watercolor block like that um, you sacrifice a little bit of quality but um, you get a lot of value out of there's also the the legion stonehenge block that you can get from trickell's website for about 17 dollars 82 at the time of this recording and that's a really solid paper that I enjoy using as well. So if I don't want to spend that much money on a watercolor block, um, I'll buy that stuff instead. So that's my recommendation there. You Say you get the Stonehenge block and that Strath Strathmore visual journal just to get up and running with some paper. Um, the total for that would be about $25.60. Now, our easel. I mean, depending on where you're going to paint, are you going to paint in the studio? You're going to paint outdoors. It's going to take some different considerations. I mean, with gouache, you know, you can paint on paper on a desk 
such as this and be completely fine but obviously that's going to limit you so the cheapest route you can go is the actually the homemade pushad box that i detail in a tutorial on how to build i have a couple different versions of that here's my studio slash backpack version um this is all custom built on my own and then here's my small thumb box version that you maybe saw the video on that. If you're new to my channel, I have a tutorial on how to build that with supplies and everything saying you have all the tools to build it. It'll cost you around 35 to 40 bucks, really inexpensive, but also other budget versions. James Gurney, the person who really inspired a lot of my own sketch easel building. He has a tutorial that you can buy on his website for, I believe, $25. Supplies, I don't know. I'm going to guesstimate. It'll cost you about another 50 bucks to grab all the supplies you need to build that. So we're talking somewhere around 75 to $100 to build his setup, but um, he's James Gurney, so. Oh, we know it's a quality setup that he's using. So there you go. There's also um, gaining in popularity, the cup easel. And I looked on their website and it'll cost you about $227 to buy from their watercolor version that they sell. I think it'd be a good setup for gouache as well. If you look up sketch easel, or watercolor easel on Etsy, you'll find a lot of different versions uh, a lot of pre-made, pretty high quality looking stuff. So you can maybe find one that might suit your needs the best. And anywhere from 150 to $250 is what I saw the average amount that you'll spend on a custom made box there. So let's just uh, average it out to about $175 if you go that route. So taking into account the minimum that you will spend on an easel, let's say, um, 40 bucks. All right. <laughs> 40 bucks to buy all the supplies and build them. And you'll be out painting outdoors in no time. <laughs> Other essentials you'll need a water cup with a little screen. I built into the bottom of it. Um, cost you about two bucks, <laughs> a paint saver storage palette. Show you what that looks like on the inside. In case you're not familiar with one of these, this is where I keep my fresh paint. Make sure it doesn't dry out too quickly. You know, this one's starting to dry. I find these really essential to go out painting in plain air with. So one of these will cost you about $13 on Amazon. Ceramic palette for studio painting. You can get a larger size like this or a smaller size like this. And it's about, for this size, about $16.95. Assorted size clamps. If you have a Harbor Freight nearby, you can get a, a bag of them. It'll cost you about nine bucks and you'll have all the clamps you'll ever need. Uh, supposing that you don't lose them all. <laughs> Duct tape is just nice to have around for certain things to um, clamp things like this that don't have tabs. I use duct tape and uh, different things to clamp them down to my setup. See these little flaps? Build them with duct tape. It's about five bucks for a good roll. Artist tape, go with a uh, white or a very neutral color blue or pink or any of the other really bright ones will be distracting and throw off your color sensitivity it'll screw with your your eyes perception of color so um, make it easier on yourself and use a neutral color and you know a roll of this is about seven bucks online cleaning rags anywhere from three to ten bucks <laughs> if you don't have old cotton t-shirts or something lying around old undershirts that you want to get rid of, cut them up, recycle them, use them as paint rags instead. And last but not least, a water mister. Very useful. Keep your colors wet on your palette. Keep your palette moist and helps to do wet on wet effects in the field and in the studio. So, all right. I think that covers everything. Here we go. Everything on the table here. It's what you need to get started in gouache today. What's our grand total? You're going to expect to pay at the very least about 250 to $275. So 
Um, keep that in mind when you're going to the store, when you're budging this stuff out. Just make sure that you get the highest quality paints, brushes, and whatnot at the most economical price that you can find online. I'll actually have a spreadsheet linked below that will have everything that I've detailed here and links on where to buy all this stuff. I don't make any commission from this one. I'm not doing it like some sort of affiliate sponsorship or anything like that. So everything that I've recommended here is honestly what I use. So you don't have to worry about me shilling for anybody, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, I believe that about covers everything. If you have any questions, let me know. If there's anything you feel like I missed that is essential in your setup, or if you have anything that needs clarifying, let me know and I'll try to answer you in the comments. All right. So if you found this one useful, give it a like, comment below, give me a thank you. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so you get more tips like this. Maybe I'll do a, a follow up. Yeah, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Maybe turn on the notification bell so you know next time I drop a new video. I'm not super consistent with them, but it's nice to know when I come out with a new video so that you don't miss it. Oh yeah, one last thing before I go. Let's talk some gouache together. <laughs> Let me know if this sounds like you. You're a gouache artist who's beginning to understand the medium, but still has plenty to learn. You've taken a few classes online maybe, and you've gotten a few good tips from them, but you're left wanting more. My goal for myself is to help elevate the medium to its rightful place as a viable fine art medium that should be in museums and galleries and everywhere else. In order to do that, I wanna both continue to elevate my own work and help you as a student to unlock the potential of this exciting yet underrated medium. So let's master this medium together, why not? <laughs> I wanna chat with you over Zoom to help me build a new online venture I'm working on. It would mean the world to me if we could hop on a quick call and I could ask you a handful of questions. Um, it's not a sales call, so don't worry about that. I've talked with um, almost 40 artists at this point and most of the time they've been really helpful and it's been really worthwhile for them as well so yeah if you're interested comment below and i'll try and get in touch with you maybe over email or over a dm and we'll set up the call there all right thanks a lot and good luck with your gouache journey <laughs>